Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm playing an Elemental Mage deck and this deck has been around for a while so it's got some of the old traits so of course you put Frostlit's Jaina in there because Jaina is in, has incredible value after you've played her to keep summoning those water elementals. But there's a number of new cards that have come into the game which I've put in actually and I think help to improve the deck. So the first one is the Book of Spectres. So Book of Spectres is one of the most insane value cards we've ever seen in the game. Being able to play two mana and draw three cards, it's it's really, really strong. Um, with the downside of you can discard any spells. So obviously, if you're playing this card, you want to build a deck that hasn't got many spells. So to get around that, we've got the Lesser Ruby Spellstone in the deck. So of course, that synergizes with the Elemental deck. When you play Elementals, it upgrades. Um, now, you can discard this still with Book of Spectres, but of course, if you've already drawn it, or um, and the fact that there's only two of them in the deck means it's less likely that you will. So it's a way of generating spells in your deck without actually having spells in them. Um, another way to do that is with the Voodoo Doll. So Voodoo Doll is basically an, um, a, an expensive polymorph, but only expensive by one mana, and it allows you to use the polymorph without playing a spell because you use this on a minion, and then you kill it with your own hero hero power. And of course, if you're Frostlit's Jaina, it turns into a water elemental, so you get some extra, excellent value there. So that's another way of kind of having a spell in the deck without having spells in the deck. Along the same lines, I also put Arcane Keysmith in the deck. Uh, this one's debatable as to whether it needs to go in there, but I've actually had a bit of success actually with playing this. Um, if you can get a counter spell or like a explosive runes, that can be really, really strong because Again, you don't have to put those secrets in your deck. You can discover them here. And um, Counterspell especially is a really powerful one to discover. So it's also important to talk about Archmage Arugal. Um, if you don't have this card, I would say don't craft it. it. It is excellent in this deck because if you play this onto the board and then play Book of Spectres, every minion you draw from Book of Spectres, will, you'll get a copy of it. So you could draw six cards for four mana by combining this with Book of Spectres. But what I will say is that this deck doesn't struggle for cards, so a lot of the um, elementals add other cards back to your hand. Um, you also have the draw a card with the bonfire elemental. Um, the ruby spellstone adds three spells to your hand, and then book of spectres on its own will draw you three cards. So you never really have a problem of having cards in your hand. So sometimes you might think, well, if I play Arugal and then book of spectres, I'm going to be drawing too many cards. So. I think it's fun to put it in and it is quite strong in the deck but I wouldn't craft it if you don't have it. I don't think it's worth the dust in this particular deck anyway. Anyway guys, give this deck a try. I thought it was a lot of fun. I love the Elemental Mage deck actually. I really enjoyed it before and this actually makes it even more fun with the new cards. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. I don't think Book of Spectres is worth keeping. Or Voodoo Doll. I really need to play it, start playing Fireflies and Shimmering Tempest early. Good. The Spellstone's nice to have in your opening hand. None will survive. So, this will be a test. The light protects me. I'm going to risk it because I can protect it behind my Tar Creeper next turn. Get rid of his Divine Shield. So if he can't kill it this turn, I can put my Tar Creeper up and we might get some good value. Speak your oh, come on. Ah, oh, well. Oh my god. Reporting for duty. He's gonna adapt to the next turn, isn't he? Maybe not. Let's go to secret, put it into the battlefield. I think I'll play this one. I 
it's really important for me to limit his his dudes. He obviously hasn't got the adaptation though, which is good. I will be your doom. Ready? Damn. I'm... Okay. So the spell stone is going to be really important here because I need AOE. What? <laughs> Got another spellstone. Uh, well, the kind of cold helps. I'm just going to do this. I don't think I'll play Kona Cold this turn. Leyline Manipulator allows me to play it if I want to. I wonder. Maybe I'll do Book of Spectres. How many cards have we got? Seven. I think I've got to play Leyline Manipulator. I need this on the board. This power is ecstasy. Let's just hope we don't. Discard any spells. Sweet. Jaina and the bomb and the blaze caller next time. <clears throat> the light dims, but we fight. Reporting for duty. Oh god. This is where I needed to discover a flame strike. Well, I think I'll play Blaze Cooler into his. Oh, sweet! Oh, that's really nice. Blaze Cooler into there. The alternative is Bonfire Elemental and Shimmering Tempest, but yeah, I think I've got to do it. Flames consume you. That's pretty good. Zero mana for two spells. The might of oh god. That might be a polymorph. Yes, I think I'll polymorph that. So next time I'm playing Jaina, unfortunately, unless I play... Hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to play 4, 6 and 8. What yeah, let's just do this. Do. I was hoping for counter spell because that would allow me to uh, stop his his one that buffs the level up that buffs always gives all his dudes plus two plus two. For duty. Oh. Reporting for duty. Oh, I don't. Need, I don't need to play Jaina just yet. Well, I, I want to kind of cold these so that if he does level up, he's not going to get any value out of it. Hmm. If I'm not playing Jaina, oh god! Oh, it was a good job I took out his minions. Right, I'll have to polymorph that again. 
We'll see. Actually, see what I get out of the spellstone in case I get um, flame strike or something. Polymorph or voodoo doll. Anyway, let's do the spellstone first. Now give me a flame strike. Frost Nova is really good, actually. Oh, yes. Look at the synergy here. I could play Frost Nova. What to do? What to do? well I think <laughs> for duty. it's gonna level up soon oh man I'll play Jaina it's about it I need to do this do not fear and I'll take out one of his dudes again. Oh crap. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. He's got standing in his That's not too bad. this way. My three attack water elementals are good against a 4-4. So that'll mean I should definitely be able to get a, a uh, card next turn. I mean a water elemental. Might play Voodoo Doll again. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. All right. Okay. Actually, the two damage here is just too good. Don't play level up again. <laughs> if he keeps wanna tr wanting to trade with me, I'll probably have enough value to win. Okay, he's got it again. Blaze Caller. Um, I think I'll play Calamos plus Voodoo Doll here. Blaze Caller can go straight into there, but then I can't actually make 
fight. Yeah, yeah. This is this is best, I think. Pyros, infinite value, or bonfire mental. I'll take take Pyros. Yes, get my other spell stone. Reporting for duty. Save Blaze Cooler. I'll save it until um, he potentially plays something else that I need to kill. Yeah, explosive rooms. Job's done. The nice. victory is yours. Nice. Oh, I'm wondering whether it's worth keeping Frostless Jaina in my hand. Wow. No. I don't want to fall too far behind. Perhaps I should have kept the polymorph in case this is summon a priest. Yeah, I'll save the coin for now. Perfect. I just hope that Jaina didn't get shuffled to the back of my deck. Because I think one of the weaknesses of this deck is if you don't draw Jaina early enough. Mm. Wow, okay. Tortola preserve us! Thinking about maybe coining out the Servant of Kalamos. That's a really awkward 2 6 minion for me to kill. If I coin out Kalamos, then I've got the 2 and the 4 next turn to kill it uh, because he can always heal it, is my problem. Uh, no, let's go Kalamos. Brothers, Turn five, can we get punished? I mean, yes, absolutely, we can. But um, I don't want to hit that in there and then him heal it up. I wonder. Oh man! Oh, that's oh god, yeah. I left. Damn it! I might have to use my hero power. Just oh no! You shouldn't have attacked there. Four, six, seven, yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, don't play that one. Play this one, because that one will get discounted by my manipulator when I play it. It's usually good to get random AOE off of this deck because uh, I don't, obviously don't have any. I must consider. Ah. I think here I play the Water Elemental and Hero Power to clear a 6-6. Six, six. We should be able to clean up whatever he plays next turn with the Blaze Caller. I wonder. Speak your peace. Mushroom power. Okay. I need to start getting some cards out of my hand. 
Tar Creeper plus one manipulator. Because I can't play the Spellstone because my hand's too full. I'll play Calamos again. Maybe. Oh no. I don't think they are me. Seven cards, we've got up to eight. So yes, I can play Spellstone plus Manipulator next turn. I might end up burning one card, we'll see. It might even just be a good play to play to Element um Leyline Manipulator Blizzard. Or Bonfire Elemental Blizzard. Okay, that's not great. Oh no. Mistake. <laughs> Oops. Oops. All right, let's let's play Spellstone. Oh my god, Flame Strike's great. Looks like we're gonna burn a card. Unless I just play Blizzard. Actually, Blizzard hit's pretty decent. I've got the Blaze Cooler. So I'm going to keep the Polymorph in my hand, <laughs> just in case it's Summoner Priest. Because I could get in big trouble if we get to turn 6 and he, and he plays that. That's not a bad opening hand. Job done. Dragon Priest, okay. Is someone injured? Hmm. So I have to hero power this turn, so the question is do I want to take out his 3 2 or do I want to actually kill his 3 1? Mm. I think I'll kill his 3 2. That is annoying to have around, but... Oh, God. I swear, Glacial Mysteries comes up so often in these random mage spells. Not useful for me. Uh... You are the Shadow's puppet! Okay, five blue phoenix here. Perfect. Kind of perfect. But... This is the right, right play. I've not got anything good to play next turn, so I might have to go with Book of Spectres. Oh, that's perfect. Just take up Tar Creeper here. What was lost can be found Lady in white, eh? 
Okay, well my voodoo dolls and polymorphs are going to be important. That's a great turn So I need more single target removal, I think. Because he's... Oh god. Oh, that was already in his hand, so... I'm thinking about doing the spellstone here. I can always voodoo doll that. Oh, another polymorph. Excellent. Glyph. Dragon's Fury is pretty bad. Uh, I'll save the... And we have two polymorphs in hand. Two polymorphs in hand, I can, um, yep, get rid of this, wherever this is. <laughs> oh, three polymorphs. Okay, that is worth. So, this one didn't start in my hand. That one, yeah, this one I can reduce with manipulator, so... To, let's do glyph as well. <laughs> Counter spell was the right play there because we've got lethal if he doesn't <laughs> if he if he doesn't have any removal or because even if he plays a taunt. Oh, perfect. That is perffect. Your lady in white deck's too slow. Alright, let's see what secret we get out of this. Oh, I misclicked there and hit the sheep. <laughs> nice. 